Hi everyone, it's Joy, and long time no see. It has been a month, I think, since I have filmed a video. There's been so much going on this past month. Past month. So what I wanted to do is get into my items. I'm down in Newport Beach and did a little Sephora VIB shopping, and I have quite a few items, just period, but I wanted to get into some of the things that I got through the VIB. And then, um, and then I'll pause that and then we'll move on to a different video of stuff that I got past the VIB. And I didn't do, I have some things at home in a box that I got for VIB as well. So, let's get started. First thing I got was the Garland Foundation and I got the Lingerie de Peau. And this is in color 03, which is, I believe it's beige, 03. And I'm wearing it today. I really like this. It goes on, I use it with my Rachel K CC cream underneath it and my Dior BB cream underneath the Rachel K. So with that, I feel like it's a lot of coverage. I think this is pretty light, but I think it's buildable without all that other stuff. I just, I like all the skincare elements from the BB cream, and I like the Rachel K CC cream because it has the sunscreen, and I think this has a sunscreen as well. So if you, yeah, it has SPF 20, so if you're not able to wear sunscreen, this probably won't be for you. It, it does have a fragrance. It goes away when it's on your skin, but it does have the fragrance. Okay, so then I got, and I looked everywhere for the... It's that limited edition glow one of Bobbi Brown. Um, so I ended up getting the Shimmer Brick Compact because they were sold out of that one everywhere in bronze. And then online they came back to, with the pink glow. So I ordered that with the, with a, so anyway, but that'll come in the mail. But this one I liked. And this one is called Bronze. And I'm wearing that today on my cheeks. And I have just this, and then I have a little bit of the the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer as a contour down below. So this is all I have on my cheeks today. And I think it looks, it, it's good enough for as a blush for me, so I liked it. I didn't feel like I had to add any more color onto my cheeks. And then I took my little brush and used the white oh, as kind of a highlight. Oh, I just got really hot. Okay. Um, along And then more on the VIB sale was Rouge Volup Shine in number 7. And it's called Rose Infinite in the YSL. And it's this one. just real sheer and I like these when I'm wearing a matte lipstick I like them over the top because sometimes like today I have a matte on and it's sometimes they get drying on me so then I'll just put a little sheer color on the top of that and I like that and then this I've never had one of these this is the actual lipstick and this is Rouge Pure Couture in number six which is Rose Bergamosk. It looks like that. And I've worn this one already, and I like that one. It's just really, really light. Very light. Almost, um, well, it is a nude, I guess, but it's, it actually has a little pigment to it, so it's a little opaque. So, those are our ones that I got on the VIB sale. And then I picked up one of the Laura Mercier Artist Palettes. Now it's my first one that I've gotten. I haven't, everybody's always raved about them and I've never picked one up. So I decided this year I was gonna do that. So, and this one has the bronzer. It's a glow bronzer in the middle and then shadows. And I have a lot of her single shadows and there's a lot here that I don't have. Like there's Vanilla Nuts, which I have that one. I think everybody who has Laura Mercier has that one. Pewter Deep Night. Stone Taupe, Cashmere, I have Cashmere, Topaz, Morning, Dew, and Crystal Beige. So, and I have ones like, um, 
African violet and you know those kinds of things. Fresco, the ones that she normally puts in the palettes. It's got kind of a fun little animal print container. So I I used this one already and I liked it. it the colors went on and blended really well. So, and it's a fifty-eight dollars and it's a one hundred and seven dollar value. So I thought that was a good deal. Okay, um, I think that's it for my VIB stuff. Oh, I have one more lipstick, but I, don't, I think I got this one at Nordstrom, and it's a uh, number eleven. I can't. I think it was number six that I got at Nordstrom. The nude. This is number eleven, Rouge Pure Couture in the color Rose Carnation. Yeah, I think these they get fingerprints everywhere. But this is the one I think I got VIB, and it's a really light pink color. So, yeah, this I think I got the twenty percent off. And then number six I didn't. Okay, and then one thing that I wanted to share with you guys, because I, I want to let you know before they run out, is the Ulta has a four-pack of these. They're the Royal Collection, and there's Duchess, Princess, Countess, and Queen, I think. And this is what I have on my eyes today, is the Duchess, and I've been wearing this non-stop. These are, they're grays, and oh gosh, they're just, I love them. They just seem to, um, they're all the rock, so they blend out really well. Each one of the royal titles is a different, oh, how do I want to word it? It's like, these are cool tones, these are like grays and blues, and one of them is nudes, and one of them is rose gold, and the other one is, I can't remember what the other one is, but this one, since I'm traveling, I just brought one, and I brought this one, and I'm loving it. It's what I have on, and I really, really like it. Okay, now on to, let's see. Um, since I'm down in Newport, I always go to Fashion Island in the Neiman Marcus, and I add to my Tom Ford collection when I'm down there. So I did that this time, and I got a different powder. It's the number two Ivory Fawn, and then I'm wearing this on my face today. It's a finishing powder, and it gives a little color a little the other one that I have is a translucent this one has a little color and I just oh gosh she, oops she put it on me and I fell in love with it and I don't know if it was the powder or the brush so I had to get the brush and this is the the big huge one I used it today so you see I have it on and I go oh. I just love this brush. I asked her, I said I, got, I said I have, I think I have number four and number six. I said, so what would be the next must-have brush? And of course, they're going to pick the, the big dog. So now I have the number five. This is the number five. I was hoping that she would say one of the littler ones, you know, like an eye brush or something, but no, she didn't. Anyway, so now I have that one. And I used it today, and I, I really do like it. I really, really do like it. Of course, they're pricey brushes, but now I have three. I used to have two. Of course, I started with one, and I just, every time I go, I add one more, and I have yet, I'm always impressed with their brushes. I just love Tom Ford brushes, but I don't buy a whole bunch. I just buy one at a time, so I'm slowly, it's like once a year, I buy a new Tom Ford brush, so that's not too bad to add one a year. Okay, so then I was watching... Brianna, and she had a great haul, and she talked about the YSL Souffle powder, the loose powder, oh gosh, blinding, and I got mine in number two, and I haven't opened it because I'm traveling and there's a thing and I don't want it to come all undone, so it's, it's still sealed, I'm going to open that when I get home. But she said that this one blurs imperfections, and I'm all about blurring imperfections. And she also talked about the infamous Clé de Peau concealer. So I went ahead and got it. Mine is in ivory, but the gal at the counter showed me the Brilliant Enhancer. And what you do with this, it's, it's a highlighter. The clickable kind, like the Touche Clot, 
and you combine the two. The Clé de Peau, this concealer, she put it on her hand and then she clicked this and moved it around and then put it on me and it works like a highlight concealer and it literally changes the consistency of the concealer and it conceals and highlights at the same time. Oh my gosh, she did one using both and one just using this and they were both amazing but these two together, I had to have it. So, yes, pricey. I, have, I literally never thought I would break down and buy this, no, no less buy, you know, two items. But I'm getting to that age where I'm really starting to see a lot of things breaking down in there. And I really did notice a difference with this. So we'll see long term. I will test it out. I used it again today. And it did not, so far it's not crepey on me. I used the setting powder over it. She said that literally you don't have to set these, that they don't crease and they don't, you know, go into your fine lines and wrinkles in the eyes. So we'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a go and we'll just, uh, we'll test that theory out. Um, let me think. I think I'm going to cut this one off for now. It'll be 11 minutes and then I will, ouch, my knee, and then I will pick back up because I've got more stuff. And I don't want if you guys don't want to sit through a you know 15 minute video then I'll I'll stop this one and then you can I'll film another one and upload it um, like in a day or two. So I hope you're all doing really good and I, I hope you all found some great buys at the VIB Sephora sale and I know I did and then I found a few extras so haul and more. I'll talk to you in the next video. Hope you're all doing great and we'll see you soon. Bye.